have mine uh, available, or you can just type the command, which is N O E L L A capital S M I L E for the tier one. That's the Nola smile. Yes, I would like to play first. Thank you. I am on Grenzo Dungeon Warden based on what we said earlier. Chat had a vote. As for Derek's on Moldrotha the Grave Tide. Ooh. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Bean size on Tatiova. And Ooh. Wild is on Tulsimir Wolfblood. Uh, do I want to keep this? Probably not. It's got that, which is nice. This is funny. But just this is a little worrisome. Um, eh, we'll mulligan it. Hey, DP Kraus. That's worse, obviously. But that I'm gonna keep it because it's worse. Hey, geeky! Sold Ramos for ten tickets to buy Mirren. Just bought Ramos today for point nine six. Wow! They must have put it back in the chest. Yeah, I did not see that update. Although there Either is they're... an announce. No, oh, no, I'm sorry. That's for Arena, not for Magic Online. Yeah, either they put it back in or just there's no demand for them anymore because Okagachi is also back to 60 cents, so season two. <laughs> Maybe can switch back to the old dragon. What? That's just cheating. What? A 1-1? One, one? This is monstrous. That's not cheating. I call shenanigans. It says there's right no there. There's land even on the board. It says right there in the text. You may reveal this card from your opening hand. Not cheating at all. Wow. All right. I guess, Wild, I, th I think we need to decide if are we killing Jeremy first or Esper first. <laughs> what? I haven't even done anything yet. This yeah, is the second Yoba. time playing this deck. I've, I've lost to Tatiova enough times in draft. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I, I meant Muldrofa, but I also lost to Tatiova a lot, so... Uh, <laughs> Hata. <laughs> Super first blood. First blood on the first turn with my hasted one one goblin. Oh no, that's that counts for muscle burst. Yeah, it does. But I want that. <laughs> for that card that's not actually in my deck. <laughs> Why would you tell us this? You have to fake us out. I don't think anyone's going to be too worried about muscle burst, even if there is Dilton found hand in the graveyard. I'm super worried. Okay, I'll just play this and get attacked by the goblin next turn. Yeah. I mean, it's either that or he just goes around the table and pokes me first. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe I get both of ya. Oh well. Now you can attack us all. I could. I don't know if I want to attack into a diligent farm hand. I don't He's think so I'm diligent. <laughs> but I can put Wild Bold to an even thirty nine with everyone else. That's fair. Yeah. See, then Esper just needs to poke you, and then we're all at 39. Esper has a repeatable rampant growth on the board right now. Can we all just pay attention to that? Yeah, it's scary. See, see the danger that's here? Island. The danger that's looming? I mean, it's only oh, repeatable if he has Moltrosa, right? Only. Mm. Uh-oh. What are you doing, Kitty? Ponder. 
Can I help you? Ugh, you have so much fur. So much fur, this cat. I don't know who to root for, I just know I'm not rooting for Selesnya because I've considered build to the other three in paper. Yeah, sure. That's rude. Well, that means a great color combination. I consider myself the good guy on this table. <laughs> Anything with green plus something else is a good color combination, though. Yeah. I guess that's true. Play those memorials. I really like memorials. I think they're very sweet. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, let's see. What is this nonsense? Going off, that's what this is. That is a oh. lot of nonsense. Is that a warrior? No, it's a rogue. Oh, man. That's a combo. Oh, hello. Yes, hi, Walter. Are you going to try and get over here again so that you can knock everything off of the desk? Come here, buddy. Come here. Okay, he's going to go behind the laptop so that he can lay over here. <laughs> but he's going to knock everything, make everything move. I'm a big fan of that card. Great art, too. Are there any cards that you are not a fan of? That I, I don't care for Siren Storm Tamer that much. Probably because it's from Ixalan. Dawn Treater Elk, though. That's a good one. Good old John Evan. I have all three cats now. Cats on cats on cats. Are you going to do the same thing you did last Saturday? Are you going to sit there and then roll over and then mess up the whole stream and then bite me when I try and kick you off the table? I tell y'all, this cat has evil plans. At least he doesn't have a urinary tract infection like my cat does. This one does not know. One of our other ones has a... Leo, the one making all the noise back there. Psst. Not that. He has a, uh, like a tear duct infection. Yeah. yeah, we took him when he was just a little over one or so to the vet. And they said that he had this infection in his eye where it's actually kind of common. Uh, but in order to take care of it, we would actually have to take him to the vet hospital at Virginia Tech. And then he would have to, it, it would be like a $1,200 procedure. She said, you can do that, or you can just wipe his eye every time it leaks. Which, usually about like once every couple of days that it starts to build up a little bit. Yeah, just wipe it off with tissue. Like, oh, well, I guess we'll go with that option. One of these is a little easier than the other. Yeah. Yay, more bad alert weather, can, weather can, alerts in my area. Yep. Can we just all agree on how um, bad that poor state's getting over there? What? Someone please cast Nosia. No, you're fine. Or shrivel. <laughs> I'd be fine with a shrivel. Yeah, I think I'd be fine with that too. Oh. What? Ooh, Siege Gang. All right. Everybody else has got blockers now. So I guess Beans is taking the brunt of it. Okay, okay. I see how it is. You have, oh, a, that's about... you have a zero one. I'm attacking with five creatures. Guess I'm taking five. Yeah, 
Taking five year loss. Yep, and now I'm out of gas. That's not true. You just threw the first each gang. Yeah. Right. Um... Engineered plague is a good one, but it wouldn't quite get all of them. Here it goes. Party girls. You get the new spiky tokens. Ooh. Got the Dominaria ones, yeah. So far, Walter is just being slightly disinterested in me, as a cat should be. We'll see if he starts pawing for my hand soon. In the pay attention to me and give me pets. Hey, to fool. Thanks for coming out. Hope you're having a good night. That Muldroth is coming out pretty quick here. Yeah. Don't play him play it until I have stuff to do with it, so. Technically a her, I believe. Her. Yep. I believe that was established in the... by the... Wizards lore people. The giant, the flavor text, swampy, maybe. tree, watery thing. Yeah, it does say it in the flavor text. Yep. Yet she bloomed, because it's a Multani thing. That's right. That cloud ah, raptor. Ghost Town. Ghost Town, one of the fifty cards in which flavor text Crovox is having a moan. <laughs> that guy moaned so much. Yep. In magic. <laughs> uh, Not happy. Well, thanks oh, for I'm coming so out cursed. Before. I'm so cursed. Still cursed here, boss. Look at me, I'm turning evil because of my curse too. Good Shut job, up. me. You can siege gang that. You can. Uh, just check to see if my Thalia Cards I Own deck is 3DH legal. Turns out basic lands don't count. It's 1DH legal. Well, they hey, do cool. not. Can make some sweet upgrades then. Yeah. The card someone else owns. Mm. Hmm. I'm kind of getting out tokened here and I don't like it. What? I'm kind of getting out everything here. Oh no, what is this? Something hurdy, that's for sure. Maybe just a big Grenzo? No, I'm thinking he's shooting something. Yeah, cost is reduced. Uh, maybe. I think I did that wrong. No, okay. I did not do that wrong. So, I was just trying to cast a Grenzo. Yep. Anyway, just called it. Yeah. I was trying to cast a Grenzo, sacrifice a couple, get it up to six, and the adjustment because of the Frog Tosser banner was confusing me. Because it was like, click adjust, and then it'll do things, and I was like, okay. Favorite thing to do with Moldrotha is to play Evolving Wilds every turn? Yeah. 
Okay, now there's a bunch of slightly larger creatures. <clears throat> Except Esper, I'm gonna get at you for two. Bam. Yeah, two whole points. Ouch. Get in there. Slash in a king cheetah and block. <laughs> Not gonna happen. <laughs> what? Didn't have it. Didn't have it the uh, whole time. Didn't have it. Didn't have the king cheetah. Play confidently. Uh. Oh, that's good. That's bad. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> oh, I see. Hey, throw mocking. Boost moose. Uh, Derpateco. Hey, how's oh, it I, going? I get to. I get to arrange. That's cool. Yep, your choice. That's gross. That is pretty gross, yeah. Actually, pretty good luck with cards right there. Hmm. Ugh. So since no, since only one person is playing... Oh, no, wait. Compost is actually really good against the Grenzo deck. Mm. Yep. All I need is one person to draw cards. <laughs> so I think I have to separate Kokusho and Compost. Um... Do not care at all about the flashback, but I don't think anyone cares about that actually. Nope. So I think. Everybody look at this cat. I think I'll do it like this. Lazy, lazy cat. Yeah, I think I'll do it like this. While we're waiting for this to resolve. Lazy cat. Lazy cat. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. You can get the Kakusha with the Eldest Reborn. Or he just plays it off of his commander. Yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess. Yep. There's no real sense in even thinking about it too hard because. <laughs> With Battle it's the Bond the day. coming out. Doesn't really matter. Oof. Hey, Ethromaking, thank you so much for the three months in a row Twitch Prime sub. I feel like this is the second time it gave me the option to share this weekend. Weird. Woo! Oh my goodness. Cats. Hey now. Cats, cats, cats. That's repeatable guess that, death. Guess what guess what that can kill? Shauna. Get in there. Yeah. That line of text is real good. <clears throat> yup. Sylvan Library. That's my, that's my favorite card. Just putting all of the hits out. Yep. Cat battles are happening here. Oh no. I feel like I have to slap them a little. Come on. There you go. Good cats. <laughs> it's Wild's favorite card, but would he say it's good? It is very good. Sylvan Library is my favorite card, too, probably. Yeah, Library is amazing. Hmm. Go figure. Reprint game, the card is Land Tax. If Land Tax was printed today for the first time, what would it cost? Um, I don't think it's good in Standard. Is it good in modern? Not really as good as it used to be in general. I'm trying to think if you can do any any degenerate things with it in modern. Hmm. So what's what's the plan for that uh, executioner's capsule over there? I like killing Skirk Prospector. Okay, that's fair. What? I mean, I don't really care about I, it I mean, since it can't kill I, my best thing. I'd really like to, you know, cast my commander. So if you wouldn't blow that up, that'd be kind of awesome. You're not the threat right now, I can assure you. This is fair. Of course, as soon as I play my commander, he can just blow it up anyways. Oh, Giggs, the... I'm, I'm gonna... I'm... We were talking about if... Was... We were talking about if land tax was reprinted in standard today, and it would it never... Well, it had never been printed in the first place. 
if it was printed for the first time today, what would it what would its casting cost be? Oh, that's oh, I, I thought you meant mana cost. Um, yeah, well, the, 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 I, I thought, the, I thought, no, no, I, I thought cost. I thought you meant monetary value, not mana cost. Uh, probably three or four. You think so? Kind of like endless horizons. Yeah, that's the card I was trying to. I was thinking of comparing it to, but endless horizons is a little bit different. I think it'd probably be in two or three. Yeah, maybe. It wouldn't be one. No, I don't think it'd be one. I think it'd at least be two. I could see it being white, white, or white, two. Yeah, that could be a thing. I'm so glad Imperius Perfect because of Eternal Masters doesn't make the lower one elf tokens anymore. Those aren't very good no. art wise. Yeah, no. don't like them. <laughs> nope, not a fan. Mm hmm. The Shadow More ones are way better, I think. Good good action shot. Um Mino says Sylvan could be just green if it was printed today. And Derp says what's the the next card is Sylvan Library, so No way is it just green. It's probably like four. Yeah, I'd say four. Two green green would be my guess. Two green green? Yeah. Maybe even one green, green, green. I mean, that that one's really hard because that card would never be printed today. Yeah, probably no. not. Especially not in green. Yeah. If something like that was printed, it would be in blue and it would just be like scry X or whatever. The beginning of your upkeep scry instead of draw. Yeah. Hmm. Kind of want to attack someone with Shauna. Shauna. Uh, maybe not. She does. She does do a good job of blocking right now. Yep. Could be green black. Yeah, I could see that. If it put, oh, it would be way better if it put the cards in the yard though that you don't take. But then it could be green black. Maybe f make it four mana and green black, and have it put the cards you don't take in the graveyard. Yeah, I could see something like that. Listen here. We don't need that nonsense. No, we do. Absolutely, we do. That's fair. Well, I think the initial flavor of Sylvan Library was supposed to be like green gets to draw cards, but it needs time to do it. Hence, you visit the Sylvan Library so it's in your draw step. You can't do it whenever. So I think that's what they were going for with the flavor. Sure. Oh, and like yeah, you pay, you pay life life library. Because, because you spent like a long time there to get your knowledge or whatever. Oh, I could have put that I on think it's a real bad. design in it. I haven't in played a, like, Grenzo in a minute. I could have put that I should have put that on bottom. Either that or a tree branch hits you on the way out. Uh well, that's kind of crummy. Yeah, I should have put it at the bottom and cast and used Grenza's ability. Ward. Oops. That happens sometimes. Hmm. Recurring Executioner's Capsule, you say? Smack him. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop! Here's my commander. Oh. Go and die, Siren Storm Tamer. I see how it see is. It? Now we throw that in under the bus. If you use Phyrexian mana and creatures only, you could probably make something close to mono green, like two green on your upkeep. Look at the top three cards of your library. You may pay uh, Phyrexian green, Phyrexian green for each creature card you reveal and put it into your hand. Yeah. Maybe. I could see that, yeah. I think 
it's difficult because yeah, Phyrexian mana is still very very broken. So with it being the way that the card is already, yeah, I could I could still see it being like three in a green and having that effect. Sacrifice. Here's where we do a dramatic reading of the Eldest Reborn. Each opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. So... I'm just wondering, is my name like imprinted on that Zillipor cutthroat? Uh, no, it's each opponent. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, but it keeps saying so, yeah, Benzie's not... uh, triggered abilities. Oh. oh. That's weird. Really, really, huh. really, Derek. Look, I'm just trying to cut down on those goblins there. You're just uh, That's like what it a... is. Wants me to sacrifice these black creatures. Nine days until SEG Con. Woo! I'm super excited. We were doing a bunch of work on it today before power went out and we had to go home. But I'm really excited for the involvement I'm going to have in it. Are the power outages just because of weather? Uh, for this time, we think it was somebody accidentally like ran into a pole, possibly. A uh, power oh, pole. Okay. Uh, or something like that. And there may it, it may have just been that a transformer overloaded in blue. Uh, maybe they were working on something from the power outage that happened last week, which was partially due to weather, we think. Um, okay. But there's, I, I have not seen like an official explanation yet. I just know that it went out at like two thirty ish, where we were at, and so it was just kind of, hey, I guess we're all gonna go hang out in the storefront for a while where there's windows and everything. <laughs> broken bond. Yeah, get that broken bond. Card's great in Tatiova. Yeah. I should probably just yield to that. Still trying to finalize what decks to bring with me. Yep. Really want to go to SGCon, but I'm heading to my summer job during that time. I have to drive up to Michigan. Oh, yeah? What's your summer job in Michigan? Working up on the island or Traverse Bay or something like that? Something sweet? I'm actually headed there in about two weeks myself. My wife and I are going to go visit family. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I'm bringing. Work at the arts camp. In oh, you work at Interlochen. Okay. Yeah. Interlochen, sweet. Yeah. Anyone doing the commander package? Yeah, a bunch of people are going to be doing the commander package. We're going to have a bunch of people there. Uh, more than likely, I will be in the command zone area probably later in the day, each of the days, is what it's looking like, based on my schedule for the weekend. At least five or six of so yeah, yeah. A bunch of people are going and got the commander package. Live 30 miles south of there, roll the world. Very cool. You have a lot of life, Jeremy. I think I'll attack you. Yeah, that's probably true. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, a whole bunch of people. If you want to go to the uh, oh the conventions and Grand Prix channel, I think it is what it's called, on the Discord, there are a decent number of people that are doing a meetup at SCG Con, so I'm sure there are a bunch of people who are more than willing to meet up, play some games. If I could grab any KBS, would you want me to bring you some? I actually have uh, about uh, six bottles left. So, thank you, but uh, I am all set on my KBS for this year. Word. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what he's going to grab. No ideas. Worked there last summer and got rehired at a higher higher position for the summer. Nice. Well, congrats. Derek, can I point out that he's doing the graveyard recursion better than you are at this point? <laughs> yeah, I kind of noticed that. Jeremy's just stealing all our thunder. Right? Makes Woo. more tokens than I do. Woo! Party! Woo! Woo, party! What? What? It's a cat. If you're sitting in the command zone, you're practically wearing that sign. Yeah. <laughs> Ask me to play EDH Brawl. Yes, that is a thing that will be happening in the command zone pretty much the entire time. Hi, buddy. Let's not sit on that, okay? Please don't fight me again. This was not fun on Saturday. I know, you just want pets, but you're going to, like, screw up the whole stream, aren't you? Oh. Oh. Okay, let's see. Um, what do I want to do today? Who likes attacks? Uh, not any of us. I'm gonna chomp. I mean, are you? Yeah, I have stuff I can chomp with. Well, I can't chomp that. Okay, <laughs> That's right. you got me. Oh man. That has fear, I forgot. Yeah. Jeremy. Yes? What are you doing? I'm swinging so that you'll block with your beetle form, mage. Really? I don't you know. sure about that? No. Are you going to unsummon no. my commander? I smell a ponga fight. I wish I had a ponga fight right now. Instead, <laughs> I have its... Cousin. Who likes frog lizards? Mm -hmm. I really don't want to lose my guy, but I really don't want to take eight commander damage. Yeah. That's fair. Please tell me somebody's got a board wipe coming. I don't. If I had one, I would have played it by now. So I don't like board wipes with this deck. Unsummon, have you seen the alpha printing? Like, just the artwork on it? That's the, the, the demon shadow with the guy pushing it into a rift, right? Yeah, something like that. I'd argue that favorite... frog lizards are superior to monkeys anyway. <laughs> oh, the wording on Unsummon from Alpha. Oh, that's probably... Target probably... summon. I mean... Yeah, it's like summon creature card is returned to its owner's hand or something like that, probably. I would settle just for somebody dealing with the Grenzo at this point. Again, if I had some way of doing that, I would... <laughs> But my deck is 
doing <laughs> things, but not the way things I want right now. Soul Devi Digger in this deck would be really fun. Oh, that would be a good one, yeah. I love the value engine well, you got going on. Thanks, Vincent. Yeah, it's it's been fun. I'm sure it's going to go downhill quickly. There's the Moldrotha. There it is. And then we're going to get that Executioner's Capsule back and make everybody sad. Excellent Storm Tamer, probably. Oh, Marauder. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, that kills Tati over. That's. I don't like that. <laughs> You're very purry right now, buddy. Return just creature. Remember. To... Just, just remember. Just yeah. remember you brought this on yourself. <laughs> Return creature to owner's hand. Enchantments on creature are card... Oh. Unsummoned cannot be played during the damage dealing phase of an attack. That's... What was that? Huh? No, that's just what it's reading. That's the original alpha wording of unsummon. Oh, that got errored away probably, right? Yeah, because the... It's probably just... Got her added. After... One of the rules changes. So you have to do it in blockers. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, because damage used to go on the stack and everything. Well, that was actually yeah. before the stack even, because that was alpha. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why probably, because damage just happened. Mm -hmm. And then current wording is tar return target creature to its owner's hand. That's it. Yep. Super simple. <laughs> I was always a fan of the... Uh... I don't know what set it was originally in. It was just uh, I started playing Magic with 8th Edition, the, the Unsummon Orb with the Lightning Dragon. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite one. Was that a 7th Edition? A lot. But it was an 8th Edition. Uh, it might be the artwork from Urza's something. Hmm, maybe. Because, because that's the set Lightning Dragon was in. Maybe I'm thinking Boomerang. Hey, whoa. That is... That's a Zendikar Surgeon. That is unnecessary. I wish I had that. Me too. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm dead, so... Eh. You are very purry, buddy. I don't know if you can hear this cat. He is being ridiculously loud. Hey, there's that oracle that you talked about that you sold. There it is. Yep. I was told, yeah, sir, I sir, I was told that that card was no longer in your deck because you sold it. Yes, but then I got it back because it's This is uh, some big cheats right here. Big cheats. Must have stolen it. What? Uh, um, guy. Play Yavi Maya Hollow. Make a bird. Little bird friend. Kaka. Hootie hoo, as the birds and say. Explode some vegetables. Explosive vegetation. This cat is ridiculous. Get my birds. You don't even know. Just look at this thing. Look how innocent he's trying to be, real quick. He's he's a goof. He's gonna bite me too. He was not happy with me showing him off. Excuse me, I do not give permission for my likeness to be shown on camera. Just you've got a value mm. engine. You've got a value engine. Check under your shares. Everyone has a value engine. I'm gonna get you for three again. What? Yeah, for life. That's probably fair. Oh, come on. Uh, no, 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 no. Yes, I know you want to roll over, but you're going to roll over onto the keyboard. By the way, Valdor is now the stream boss. So everybody gang up on him. I always knew that guy was trouble. Now he's stream boss. You know? Let's get the little guy. 
That's not gonna result in shenanigans. What is it? Oh look, oh. Guess what that can kill? Uh, Moldrota. <laughs> also not, not also not Shana though. <laughs> it's probably gonna get my angel. Or my oracle, I'm not sure actually. Oh, I guess it does go right into the graveyard. Yeah, it sense. puts it in the yard and then it comes back. Yeah, that makes sense. Cat-centric stream. You're not wrong. Um, yeah, I gotta get rid of that flyer. That little angel making all those yep. extra tokens. Making those birds. Okay. Hmm. That Shauna is an 8-8 currently. Uh-huh. That's big. Yep. So that's why we're going to attack Esper with this. That's unfair, I can't block that. Rawr. Do not appreciate that word. Rawr. Derp Tech, what is the one land that wizard lands that huge mistake besides Tolerian Academy? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what you mean there. Well, I think I think they're asking what the biggest mistake was, like that the biggest uh, land, land printed. printing uh, next to Tolarian Academy. Sure. I mean, re reprinting Mutavolt in M M14 wasn't great. Yeah. For standard. Yeah, they they have they've said that they don't like the fetches, and then they put them in standard. Well, but that was probably one of the best reprints they've ever done, though. Yeah. To get them into modern and stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's they need to do it that way, but... Uh, Sorrow's Path was a mistake. <laughs> Strip Mine is a good one. Yeah. It's a good... I, I don't know if they would say that's uh, like the worst one. Not talking about oh, reprints. No, we, okay. Yeah, just uh, like what's the... Hmm. What's other than Tolarian Academy? Like, what's the biggest one? That's a problem. Yeah, I, I could see Strip Mine being a problem. Yeah. Um, it's probably Strip Mine. Yeah, I was gonna say Guy's Cradle and Sarah Sanctum are probably up there too. Yeah, the Sarah Sanctum was the one that I kind of thought of, but. Oh yeah, yeah. Guy's Cradle library is definitely. Library of Alexandria is also. Oh, library, bizarre Baghdad too. But yeah, bizarre. workshops money too. Yeah, that library. took a that took a while to be a mistake though. That bizarre. <laughs> yeah, it it waited until dredge, you know, before it really blew up and became a thing. But as soon yeah. as they made dredge, obviously it's still like the card itself probably not as big an issue without that. Yeah, there it uh, is. That's gonna be a problem. There it is. Wish I would find some of my life again. That would be good. Oh my goodness, Walter, you are going to make the whole stream dip. Hey, stop that. I will throw small pieces of paper in. So that he plays with them instead of the carpet next to the door. Yeah, don't have anything. Yeah, Bizarre is fine. The problem was Dredge. Yeah. Pretty much. Guys, Cradle, Sarah Sanctum sometimes. I've actually been having a bit of trouble with the hideaway lands. Cheating of mana cost is always very powerful. Yeah. yeah Shadowbook is amazing in cube. Sh shops. Same with Bizarre. Didn't become a huge issue until, yeah, you're right. Yeah, hideaway lands are super sweet. 
I'm wondering though, what was their intention when they printed Bazaar? Because nowadays it doesn't look like a card that is intended to do fair things, but maybe back then they just thought like... Put some bad card draw on a stick, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. They probably did intend for it to be busted. I think they were yeah. intending it to be, yeah, kind of just more of a, a filter thing. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't think they realized how quite easily accessible graveyards would be 20 years after they printed it. Yeah. Yeah. Is this a boundless round? That'd be sweet. Mm -hmm. eh, just yeah, just explore. explore. Is the artwork from the Kiora versus Elspeth dual deck on Moda? The Explore? Explore? Yeah. I'm not sure. So, I don't know if that dual deck. That's really, really sweet art. Yeah. Might not be on an MTGO, though. Explore. Nope. Skywarp not says Bizarre to Counterbalance Library. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Like, I don't know. They, I, they've also stopped printing lands that don't give you mana, I believe. That was, like, a big thing for a long time. Yeah, I think the last one they did was Eye of Ugin. Mm -hmm. And then with the New World Order thing, they stopped doing it. Yeah. I don't know just... quite what to think of it. I, I quite like lands that don't tap for mana because they're interesting. Yeah, but they had a bunch of them back then. Yeah, it was too much back in the day. But I liked what they did, like, say, Invasion Block onwards, where it's like you have one or two in each set, like Cabal Coffers in, in Odyssey. Yeah. I think it, I think that makes, makes cards interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Derp Attack says, it's also hard to deal with uncounterable card draw. <laughs> Mino says, Bizarre was good to discard your Ruck Egg. <laughs> yeah, that's true, I guess. Multani, mm -hmm. Reach Trample, okay. I just needed something that can eat the Grenzo. Rar, rar, rar. Yeah, that's fair. Well, now you've got me trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Hmm. Hmm. Because now I've got to actually think about sure. stuff. Yeah, this game is, is entering the the hot phase. Tornate. Let's play a doozy. Oh, oh no! Wow, <laughs> that's that's not great when he has stuff like Juniper Order Rager on top. Yep. Could see Krakus as a huge mistake too. Yeah, I don't know if it's on the same level, but. Oh, Tabernacle? Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Tabernacle is not that's, great. <laughs> that's a good one. Bestial Menace. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, Just going to run away with it now. Yeah, Catharsis Crusade is going to happen. I imagine I'm not going to have it for long, so I might as well get some, get some mileage out of it. <laughs> Okay. Uh, um I think the birds are gonna come over to Jeremy. That's probably fair. I am at the highest. And if, now the question is do I wanna keep the Shana on defense or not? Mm. Just block everything. I think. Oh no, I, th I think I'm gonna leave one bird on defense for Coco Show actually. Um, the problem is. Esper is just gonna chump with Coco Show. You're gonna chump with Shriek Maw. So I guess if I attack Beansy, I'm gonna get a real card. But Beansy's not a threat right now. What? Why, why are we somewhere. picking up Bean? Dude has a Zendikar Resurgent. Yeah. And and the Maltani. He don't count him out. <laughs> I guess that's true. Heard somewhere, I can't remember where, but it was 
but they said Skull Clamp can't exist in creature format. I mean, yeah, okay. Shana, Shana's gonna take out Multani or Tadiova. I think that's fair. I just want blockers. <laughs> well, use them then. Uh, <laughs> I need to use them for Jeremy's board. What? No. It's fine. Declare blockers. No, thank you. <laughs> I come from an era when Bayou was a fair duel. <laughs> yeah. Pump those birds. Yeah, the original Shockland art was actually very cool. I wonder... So so what's your guys' prediction? Do, are we going to get Shock Duels again? In Ravnica? Are we going to get Shocklands again? I think so I think so too just simply because if they don't put them in it's going to be a huge deal yeah, people are going to feel a little let down but and they also I, th I think the better uh, better reason is that people brought this up on Twitter is that if they reprint shock duels we're going to have the same mana base as back in Innistrad Return to Ravnica standard the, the body lands with the with the shock lands, which is actually a really comfortable mana base to have in standard. Sure. Yeah. They syn they synergize really well. The question then is, what art are they going to use? Are they going to use the original art for the shock lands, or the return, or new, new art. art again? I I hope if they repeat art, that they at least go back to original. Probably make new art. I think I'm actually kind of fifty fifty on on like each duel and what, what art I like more. Like there's some that where, where I like where I'm like sure I like the old one more. Like Sacred Foundry, the old one is just amazing and the new one is kinda eh. Yeah. But then there's ones that are really close, like Reading Pool, where it's just a different feel. Like it's both excellent art, but like the old one is like almost like a soul tie land in, in tone and the new one is kind of like a band land in tone where it's really bright and happy. Sure. I also have to say I really I, I prefer the new Godless Shrine. I think the new Godless Shrine is amazing. Mino says Rob Alexander art for Shocklands, which I can agree with that. Oh yeah, I didn't count the expedition art. Yeah, that that one's nice too. That's true. Oh yeah, T Temple Garden is original for sure. Yeah. That is that is not even close. Yeah. I think Watery Grave is original too. Yeah, Watery Overgrown Grave. Tomb. I like the new one. I like the I like the little hut with the the, the the little tomb thing that's overgrown by moss. I really like that. I could see them just either a just not printing them because they just have you know they they need the space for some reason. Mm -hmm. Um, I could see them not printing them. Uh, it would be weird because they could pretty easily do it with five in the first set and five in the second set because they're going to be split up like that and they're both large sets yeah so it could be pretty it would be pretty easy to uh i could see them not doing it because of they just know that people are going to expect it oh i like that i don't <laughs> i like that a lot i have i have <laughs> things to do with that i had i had one card in my hand i'm a fan euro's downfall huh yeah that was the one where I was like, man, I could use that on Moldrotha. I could use it on Multani. I don't know when I want to use it. But I can't. I'm not, I'm not, man, my Jeff, I'm not saying that. the old Godless is amazing. I, I'm, I just really like the new one. Like, I like it so much that I even like it a little bit more than the original. I could see them giving new... I mean, they gave him the expeditions, but I could see them giving some of the new ones to Noah. Oh, OG, OG stomping grounds. Yeah, is real. That that is some nice art. For sure. Terasty nasty. Well, it's gonna hit my Cathars Crusade. <laughs> and my Zendikar probably. Yep. And my whatever else. 
I got my one turn out of it, <laughs> like predicted. My one land, I guess. Oh, yep. that's mean. Yep, blowing up my land. That's mean. Why wouldn't you blow up my Maya Hollow? Make him pay. <laughs> Just spread it out. I'm gonna die soon anyway, so... You say that. Um, With a Kokusha on board, he says that. Yeah, right. The Coco Show and no easy way of sacrificing it. Ow. Let's see what we get. Spin that wheel. I am super jealous, Romo. Custody Lich? That doesn't do anything for me right now. Oh man, I could make the inside sacrifice this creature though. <laughs> That's just mean. Yeah. Well, Esper just sacrifices Kakusho. Yeah, it's true. I mean, you could hit wild with that big board full of token creatures. Yeah. I will sack an elf. He will sack an elf. I will not care about it. Yeah, you can Those out. are big <laughs> elves, fine. though. Favorite old school oh, artist well. for me is Drew Tucker, and I wish I had my Vazookan doppelganger signed before Quentin Hoover had died. Uh, I don't know. Probably just Rob Alexander or John Avon are probably my two top people. Helps that I've met them. Depends on how oh, old yeah, Vizu school we're going Vizuvan to. doppelganger was my favorite art when I started playing because uh, my cousin gifted me like a box full of cards and was in there from 4th edition I think or, or foreign white border the white border version that is really good art yeah I guess it just kind of depends on when we're talking old school because Therese would also be up there for me but if that's yeah Therese Rebecca yeah Rebecca would also be pretty great too I think if I had to single out one artist it would be Rob Alexander but yeah. it's hard that's one of those things where I have a top five and not yeah. just it, one. It's difficult it's too hard. for me to just because of the fact that I've also met most of them. Yeah, and, that makes it way harder. And, That's true. And I do like them all. So it's kind of hard for me to go, yeah, I like this person's art. I like that person's art. But I also like them all just as people, too. They're yeah. all just really cool people. Okay. Uh, Bluest Robot asks, uh, what do you think about Reverse Shockland? Something along the lines of when blank enters the battlefield, an opponent gains two life. Way too strong? Oh, that's way too strong. Way yeah. too strong. That is, that, that, is, is, that is better than original duels. Yes. In some con like with Punishing Fire? No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, giving your opponent life is not a drawback. Original 25 magic artists, I'd go Rob since I flavor lands, favor landscape art over most other forms. Yeah, that's fair. Rob and... Um, and then we're also all pretty good. Rebecca, her path to exile, yeah. Master Jarrah says, Mark Poole, obviously, have you guys seen Indestructible Aura? I like Mark Poole a lot. Mark is actually a very cool guy. Got to hang out with him at a few shows, and he's just a very, very cool dude. He's also still just super excited that he gets to keep doing cards because he did the um, painted bluffs or painted cataract or whatever it is, the one that's the... Uh, the desert? I think it's the desert, yeah. And it's just the, like the unknown forest desert. Yeah. And he was That's super really excited. nice art. Yeah, he he was super excited to be able to do that. Speaking of Rob Alexander, Tom aka MTG Radio has the unhinged full art. Oh nice. That's cool. That is cool. All five of them. Those are John's though, right?
not Rob's. John has done the the art for all the unsets, the basics. That is John, yeah. Yeah. Is the oh boy. Unhinged all five. That's really sweet though. That is a good card on top of my library. <laughs> I have box canvases of Unhinged Mountain and Forest in my house. What is the duels that come into play untapped unless your opponent pays two life? That's pretty good still. I don't know. Giving somebody like a changing the shock lands to a, a punisher land would make them maybe a tiny bit weaker. Uh, I have. Doesn't that just make them way better? <laughs> does it? If you give them the choice. If no, they, I guess yeah. I guess that makes them worse. Yeah, like Punisher cards, they are always going to take the option of whichever one is worse for you. Yeah. Hmm. That's actually interesting. They would always just pick comes and tap them unless they were like two life away from death. Yeah. Pretty much. It would make them way better in aggressive decks, interestingly. Yeah, that is true. So it would be wait, it what would is be, the math here? Because you would basically shock them and it's almost the same, yeah. Uh I think I can win here. Oh, let's try. I feel like if I don't win this turn I'm not gonna win at all. I think it depends, Thromaki, that's kind of what I was saying, that it depends, because it, it's basically as if you were just casting Shock on your opponent, so, like, it might not be super great. I know you like Tatiova, so I thought I would share this idea with you. I played Ghost Town in my deck and managed to turn one burgeoning. <laughs> it's a pretty sweet synergy with Tatiova, I imagine. Burgeoning plus super awesome land plus Tatiova seems really cool I do have one of the um, prints from John that's the Zendikar planes uh, triptych that's on one of the canvas things I just have to get it framed Derp attack could you see when blank enters a battlefield each player could pay two life for Blank enters tapped. I'm not sure. Non-token creatures. Uh huh. But a little a little gift I got from that windfall. <laughs> yeah. Um. Seems good here. Listen here. Okay. Well, let's do this. Uh oh. I'm gonna go. There. I'm going to take a bunch of time is what's going to happen. Okay. All right. It's probably not enough to kill all of you, but I might take one or two people out with this and then hopefully not lose. Um... I may drop die, but I'm gonna draw a bunch of cards. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Is 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 that is compost part of a cycle? I can't quite remember the card. It's from Urza, right? Uh, yeah, but it's not part of a cycle. I don't. Oh, it's, think... so it's just one of the color hate cards. Yeah, black okay. has one that's like when a green creature is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, that opponent must discard a card. Which is way worse because yeah. well, you can it only affects creatures and only on the battlefield. So yeah, yeah, that's way worse. Yeah, uh, compost is much better. All right. 
this isn't my favorite art of compost though. My favorite art is literally the one that's just a pile of manure. Just remember, don't stack your tokens. Yeah, I'm not. Well, I, I could. I'm just not going to. Oh yeah, that's really nice art. That's the original from Urza. That looks really nice. That actually looks quite like yeah. a bit like uh, compost one of my friends had in their backyard uh, when I was a child. Yeah, uh, we've got one in our backyard too that looks a lot right. like that. Yes. Hey, Asian, Ave A Asian Avenger. Everybody say hi to Asian Avenger, who is one of the other members of the Viper Brood stream team. Hello. You'll try to do this. Yo. That's gonna not work. That was Anaronicon. Thank you so much. Uh, Skywarp just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Woohoo! Yeah. What oh come on. <laughs> huh? What? You just won the game. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I can't hear you. <laughs> oh no. This is backfire terribly. Oh no, hour of reckoning. What will I do with all of my creatures on the board? Yeah, so I'm just... a smoldering rack. Yeah, no, that's just uh, that's just game. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. I took my shot. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's uh... exactly yeah. You can't just kill Beansy with the elephant. Oh man. I got bamboozled hard. <laughs> uh, bamboozled? Bye. <laughs> bye. Uh, this was just a bad matchup for this deck. <laughs> Two oh, go okay. wide strategies. Beansy has an elephant too. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's interesting, not in the sense of life totals, but. <laughs> Interesting, quote unquote. Hello. Here is my impact tremors. Never mind, you doomed me. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think we just do this. Hopefully, there's a one mana left. I think there might be. You got a Raging Goblin in there? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Always yield. I think I have a one mana red left, but I think I used the two, or maybe just the one that I had in there. <sighs> nope. You've still got that one green mana, Wild. You can use it to save the day. Oh yeah, if that's forever. <laughs> that's just sticking around. Hornet Sting! Ah! All right. Um, I will attack. Cleared it up, so now reads, when blank enters the battlefield, each player can pay oh. two life. If they don't, blank enters the battlefield untapped. That seems really good. That's the card I was hoping to draw. Constant mists. That's a good one. Oh, I am no. very impressed with that. What will I do? I mean, with those impact tremors, I, he's going to have to gain a lot of life in this turn. Yeah, pretty much. I think he's still pretty good with Tatiova and and everything, though. She died once, I think? Twice, maybe? Twice? This cat. Does that sound balanced? I don't know. I still think that giving them the choice is a little... Eh. I mean, it makes it... different for multiplayer. I guess. Maybe you have to pump it up to three life, then. They gain three life, or... No, no, no. They have to pay three instead of two. Or they have to pay three life, yeah. If they don't, it I mean, there's a battlefield untapped. 
I mean, if you give if you, if you give your opponents the choice, it's always going to be terrible in EDH because someone's just going to pay free and you have a guild gate. Yeah. Oh, but I have just... life. I'll take a lightning bolt. But that's just that's just uh, that's just because it's multiplayer. Like that's not really the fault of the design. I think if it's three life, it might actually be really interesting for constructed. Yeah. People would not be happy though, though to get that over reprinting shock duels. That is for sure. Mog War Marshal, but... okay. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Yep. Well, Jeremy, you were basically in control for this entire game from about turn two. Slowly and surely built up my army. I had I had one second there. And then Gary showed up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I probably could have pulled out without Gary. <laughs> Ah, boom. Because nice. I have a girl from the ashes in my Ooh. hand, too. Okay. That was fun. That I was did. That was, I enjoyed that game. I mean, the, the blow, I, it probably would have gone differently if I had not seen the Gary when you went to blow up all non all non token creatures, yes. But the yeah, Gary. Yeah, I feel like that was my. Sh I feel like I had to do it just because you had like six power with fear that I can't block, and I was at sixteen, and then it would be yeah. really easy to die with Kokucho and the Zola 